Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to see another technique of how we can bypass file upload restrictions. So before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can do API print and testing by using mass assignment technique, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let's get started. So for the sake of demonstration, I have created my own lab to show you how we can bypass file uploads. So let's get this thing started. First of all, let me open my terminal over here. And let me just check whether my lab is working and it's working fine. And now let's open the browser. And let's open burp suit simultaneously. Let's open it right over here. Let's start the burp suit. And we're good to go. Now let me just select the burp over here. And now let me just visit my local host. And here it is. Here is the web application that we are going to solve. Right? So as you can see, we have this browse option over here where we can browse and select our files and then we can upload it, right? So normally this application is only allowing us to upload a PNG file, right? We'll see that how we can bypass it to execute uh, more vulnerabilities or to bypass this particular restriction. For example, let me just upload a file. So we know that this file is supported, so I'm not going to choose this file again and again. So let me just go with, let's say that I want to use this particular file, test.txt, right? Let me just turn on the intercept. Let's click on upload. Let's send this thing to repeater. And now let's forward this, right? As you can see, it is showing right over here that try again, which means that we were not able to upload this file on the server, right? Now we have a lot of ways to bypass uh, or test for file upload bypasses, right? But the thing that we are going to do over here is known as null byte injection, right? So let me show you and let me demonstrate what is null byte injection actually, right? So let me just open a new tab over here and let me just open anything, right? So normally when you're passing a string, so how do you think the server will understand, okay, where is the string is getting started and where it is going to end, right? So basically it does this by using a null byte for example suppose you have typed something let's say be practical right now in order for the server to understand where this string is ending we need to apply a null byte over here something like this right so it the server is going to read characters one by one b e p r a so on and when it reaches this person zero zero then it is going to terminate that string right suppose i have anything over here, then these things are going to be ignored. Why? Because this percent zero zero is going to terminate the string. So the server will think that the string length is only from B practical, right? Nothing else. So this part will get ignored. So this is what null byte injection is, right? So typically it is actually very dangerous if the application is not filtering the inputs from the client side. So if uh, they are not filtering it, then we can use this injection to do a bunch of cool stuffs, right? For example, we can do 403 bypass, which I'm going to show you in more of my videos. Then we can do file upload bypass, which I'm going to show you right over here. So let's see how we can do that, right? So I hope you have understood it. So even if you are a normal program and if you are programmed some uh, programs in C or C++, then you already know about this uh, person zero zero, right? We all have seen that how this person zero zero in an array is actually used to terminate the string, right? So normally this is the use of null byte, right? But for us, for hackers, we are going to use this to abuse the server to do some bad stuffs, right? Not us, but the actual attackers in the real world scenario. So let's see how we can do this. So over here, let's try to send this again. As you can see, it is showing that try again. So it's not getting bypassed. So what we can do over here is we know what we know. We know that dot PNG is accepted, right? So we can do something like this dot PNG, right? Now 
what we can do else is we can add percent zero zero right and then we can type our own extension which is let's say uh dot txt right right over here so dot txt percent zero zero dot png right so let's try to understand what will the server think of this particular string right just paste it right over here so see this if the application is vulnerable of course then this part this part will get accepted by the server and once the server reaches percent zero zero then it is going to terminate the string right which means that we will be able to bypass this particular uh, restriction if the server is vulnerable to null byte injection right so normally the server will think that we have this dot png right over here but since we have this percent zero zero right over here then we will be able to bypass this particular uh, extension right so you can do something like this or you can also go with uh, something like this so dot png percent zero zero dot txt now it depends on the uh, server for example here the server may think that we have the validation session over here because the server will think that the text is test.png right and then it's going to ignore all the part but actually the file extension is .txt right so this way we can trick the server into believing that this is an actual png extension file but it is actually a txt file right i'm uploading a txt file over here but you can upload anything from HTML to a JavaScript file or to more malicious code depending on what the server is using at the back end, right? So let's test it out. So we are going to do this. Let me just remove this right from here and let's leave it to test.png. Let's do person 00, zero and then let's do dot txt, right? And let's see whether we'll bypass this application or not. Again, as you can see right over here, it is showing try again, which means that we were not able to bypass it. Why is it happening? So there are actually two reasons for it, right? First of all, if you came across this scenario where you were not able to bypass it, then you can do something like this. So let me just add a placeholder here. Instead of uh, %00, I'm going to go with A, right? So A is acting as a placeholder over here. Then just click on hex and look for the A that we have placed. So we have place A over here, right? So which is the ASCII code 41, right? So this is A. And then we can simply add 00, 0 over here and we'll hit enter. And then it will get replaced by null, right? So this is the null byte actually, slash zero, right? So this is known as null byte injection. So let's try to send this request again. Now, this time you'll see that our application is detecting it, right? So we're showing that the header is actually malformed, right? So now, if you have come across this scenario as well, then what we can do? So no worries, we can also try one more bypass, which is nothing, but let me just rename the file over here. Test.txt, right? So what we can do is we can apply the same rule over here, dot png, dot uh percent 25 percent zero zero dot txt right and now what we can do over here is we can encode this percentage symbol right so if we can encode the symbol then may the server may able to decode it back to the original uh string value which is actually a percent right so we can do this by going to convert selection select url and click on url encode all characters here it is let's try to click on send and now as you can see over here we were successfully able to bypass this particular application and we were able to upload this text file on this particular server right so even though the server is accepting a png file we bypass that and trick the server into believing that we have uploaded a png file but actually it is a text file right and we can upload any file that we want we can upload an html file a php file and any other thing right so this is how we can bypass file upload functionality using the null byte injection i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cybersecurity as well as web development
right and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is hacking windows with python where you're going to learn that how an actual hacker creates their own custom malware that bypasses any antivirus that executes system commands that can upload and download files and do a much more illegal and cool stuff the second course which i'm running is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers where you will learn that how you can break into applications logic to take over anyone's account because of the website's misconfiguration and both of these courses are fully practical so i've demonstrated everything in it so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link is also given in the description right so i hope that you have understood it so normally in a programming language the null byte injection is something like this you can also go and try this as well right so if let's say that if person 2500 is not accepting as well then you can go ahead and try with slash zero slash zero zero something like that right so th in this way you will be able to bypass it if the application is actually vulnerable to null byte injection now i hope that again you have understood it with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching